Hey there, I'm going to show you how to get started with setting up your institution. To get started, click on the Sign In URL link. Choose your designation and sign in, either by entering the username and password provided in the email or by the Google Single Sign-On option, if activated. If you have entered the correct login credentials, you will see the dashboard. Click the Help video for details on the dashboard. For now, let's focus on setting up courses or classes. Hover over the Modules tab on the top and select Manage Course and Subjects of the Course and Subjects module. To add a new class or course, click on the Add Class tab, specifying the details, and click Add. You will see the new class will be appended to the end of the class list. Now, this class has no divisions or sections, as some would call it. Sections help you group students within a class. To add a section, go to the Add Section tab. Specify the name of the class to which this new section is a part, fill in the details, and click Add. Now the class added has a section, but no subjects. To add subjects, go to Add Subjects tab, specifying the class and section of which the new subject is a part, fill in the other details, and click Add. Now you have created a fully qualified class. To import a number of classes or courses, go to Settings, Import and Export Data. Download the sample file to get the format in which the courses or classes are to be imported. Edit this spreadsheet file to contain the desired divisions and subjects. Choose to import this as a CSV or Excel file. In this way, you can create any number of classes with any number of sections and subjects. If you want to add student information individually, hover over Modules at the top and go to Manage Students in the Student module. Go to Add Student tab and fill in the required fields. To specify the fields in this form, click on Add or Edit Fields. To add a field, drag and drop a field type to any position in the field list and specify its details. Make sure to publish the field so that it is seen in the form. Now, fill in the required fields and click Add. If you wish to import a student database with many records, go to Settings, Import and Export Data. Click Import Data in the Students row and select the CSV or Excel file with the list of students you want to import. And click Upload. Once upload is complete, you have to map the fields of the uploaded file to the corresponding fields given in the form, and click Import. Adding and uploading teachers' information is similar to students. Go to Manage Teacher and Admin Staff in the Teacher and Admin Staff module. Use the Add Teachers tab to add teachers individually. You can manage the fields here clicking Add or Edit Fields. To import a large number of teachers' information, go to Settings, Import and Export Data. Click Import in the Teachers row, select the CSV or Excel file to import, and click Upload. Once the upload is complete, you have to map the fields of the uploaded file to the corresponding fields in the form, and click Import. An additional feature in the Teacher module is managing subject allocation for the institution. Hover over Modules on the top and select Subject Allocation under the Teacher module. Here, for selected class and division, we can manage teachers allotted for each subject. The admin staff constitutes the non-teaching staff, in other words, the administrators. Click on Add Admin Member tab. Fill the required details and click Add. 
This adds a new admin member to the list of admin members. Click on a key to manage module access permissions for that admin member. In other words, you can select which modules can be accessed by the admin member. The unchecked modules will not be visible to the admin member when he or she logs in to their admin portal. Well, that's it. Hope this video was helpful to get you started fast. If you need any help, mail us at support at classy365.com.